And I started going vertical because of that interesting color in the sky. So now you'll be able to see both views. I'm going to darken the exposure, try and get a little bit more something in that sky or in the reflected water and just play around with some different exposures there. I zoomed a little wider to include more of that sky, the advantage of a zoom lens, and then darken that exposure. And then in the post process, I got something I'm really happy with, taking my time watching the bird's behavior. As long as they're relaxed, I can move and just keep closing, getting a little closer. Wide open right now, mind you. No cover, no camouflage, no nothing. It's just all about slow movement and watching the bird's behavior. And here we go. Now we're in for some nice close portraits. In some beautiful light. I'm going to go ahead and fill that with white and deselect. I'm going to zoom into 100% here and just kind of check around the edges. Toggle this on and off. And lastly, let's really lean into that glow up top. We'll add another curves adjustment layer. Lift it up a bit. Invert that. Big soft brush, real low opacity, and I'm just going to kind of paint through this upper section there and just kind of add to that glow. So there we go.